Hey guys, so this is my pole barn update. Uh, they came yesterday and uh, this is what they got done in one day. Um, they came about 7 in the morning to dig the holes. They went down about 6 feet and they used uh, the augers over there. I'll show you those. And they poured uh, concrete foot in, so they poured about a foot of concrete. And the load bearing walls, they did 20 inch diameter and the uh, end walls they did uh, 18 inch diameter holes then they put the three ply columns on and uh, they, uh, they just erected it really quick um, this is a th sand uh, thermal mass bed that I'm using I'm going to put the, the um, radiant floor in, in the sand but as you can see the sand uh, it compacts kind of difficult um, it likes to disperse so if it's not contained but it, what it does is the uh, in-floor heating will heat up the sand bed and use it like a thermal mass heat storage. And then I'll give it off so that way I can get off peak heating of uh, four and a half cents a kilowatt instead of 12 cents and uh, save a third of my heating bills. Um, they use a scissors lift. Uh, for the, up here, then they put the lambs on for the two, 12 by 10 garage doors. Um, one bad thing about the sand is um, they sink in it. So the cement truck didn't have a problem with it um, backing in straight, but once he turned and then tried to back in, he sunk. So he got stuck, but that little bobcat gave him a tug out. So. That was good, I didn't want to pay that bill. But as you can see, in one day, they did a fairly good uh, good job. They got quite a bit far, you know, for a day's worth of work. But uh, there's a grade board, I gotta get more sand in here. This already has about 15 um, truckloads of sand. And uh, that was at about uh, 150, which is a good deal because um, usually the mine wanted 300, but a friend of a friend did it for 150 a truckload. So, uh, but here's uh, Bobcat attachments for the drilling the augers, drilling the holes. So this one's a 18 inch auger. And it's just quick disconnect. And then here's a 20 inch one. So yeah, so uh, hopefully a uh, couple days by the end of this week, we'll be able to uh, have a pole barn.